And speaking of of companies, you I know that you are helping developers a lot. And so is there any common mistakes or either mistakes or misconceptions, but something that is recurring in your work that you help developers with when building these startups, products, and everything? Yeah, I think one of the biggest opportunities that people are taking advantage of is embeddings. Like I think embedding your knowledge base, which for folks who aren't familiar, is just the process of taking text in text format and turning it into a numerical format that uh, machine learning systems can understand. So you could imagine you take you know, the entire corpus of knowledge that your company has, you embed it, and then you add a chat layer on top of it using the OpenAI ChatGPT API. And now you can like ask ChatGPT type questions and have the knowledge base that it's pulling from be the information that your company has that you know to be true, which is the most the most impactful part of this. So you don't need to worry. I mean, there's still a possibility for hallucinations, but like the core data that it's pulling from is your data. Um, and, you know, I think historically people have been concerned about giving that data to open AI because um, before March 1st of, of 2023, we were actually training on some portion of the data that people submitted via our API, unless you opted out of that, um, starting on, on March 1st. So today, um, now that we're in April, we don't, uh, we don't train on any of that data. So you can embed all that, the, the sort of potentially proprietary data that you have add this chat layer on top of it using our API and not have to worry about like, you know, OpenAI is going to use this data to make their models better and potentially expose some of the, you know, secrets or whatever it is that you have in that information. Um, folks don't need to worry about that anymore when, when using our API, which is really cool. So um, it, it just opens up the ability to like solve these really top, like I remember being at Apple um, and like, just like trying to figure out <laughs> just simple things was like really hard because the knowledge was so tucked away in different places and like wasn't accessible to me. So I'd spend like hours trying to find the answer to this question when if I had this chat layer and the information embedded, it would have been like a simple 30 second fix for the solution. 